When I was in the Navy, I was a naval air crewman and an aviation electronics technician. I definitely wish that I had maybe invested in my own hearing protection or been a bit more thorough in making sure I was wearing protection. There would be times where sometimes we would go out there thinking we're not gonna actually turn the aircraft on. What we didn't realize is that another maintenance department did need power to the aircraft and they're working on it at the same time. So we would go out to the airplane, no hearing protection, doing our thing. Next thing we know, they're firing up the APU, the auxiliary power unit, which is really, really loud. And we were out there without hearing protection. I started getting uh, tinnitus um, while I was in the Navy. This little distant ringing sound. The first times I was hearing it, I actually thought maybe other people could hear it and it took me a little while to realize, no, that was, it was just me. A number of years later, I got uh, very sick with an illness called viral meningitis, and that affected my tinnitus. It seemed to amplify it in such a way where it's happening more frequently. The hearing that you have in your 20s is not going to last forever. The experiences, the damage that you do, the noise you expose yourself to in your 20s, is cumulative that it will continue to affect your hearing um, and that you need to take steps to protect it. I, I'm only 39 right now and I'm a mother of two children and sometimes my kids are having a conversation with me and they're telling me about their day at school and that ringing starts in my ear, that high-pitched noise and they're talking to me and I hear their voice but I can't focus on what they're saying and they might think that mommy's not paying attention to them or that mommy doesn't care about how their day at school went and it couldn't be further from the case. Um, I wish that I had done a better job protecting my ears, not just for me, but for my family as well. I would tell you to wear your hearing protection, always.